Today for Mousetrap Monday, we're going to try to catch mice in the barn with the copycat bucket mousetrap. Now I call it the copycat because on top of the trap, there's a giant plastic face of a cat. And because it's a Chinese copy, it says made in China right there, of my all-time favorite mousetrap, the flip and slide. Now I have no idea how this trap fits inside a box, but we're going to take it out, test it, and see if it works. They say this is the third generation even. So they've been working on these copies a while. We'll go ahead and open it up. Here's the cat face. Ooh, it's pretty flimsy plastic. And here's the rest of the trap. We can see the plank. It has a cat's paw shape on it right there. There's some bait cups. And here's the rim to fit on the bucket. And they look like they snap together, almost like Legos. And now I can attach the cat face. It has tabs to fit in the holes for the ears. And here's where the bait tray goes. You put peanut butter in there and it clicks on top. It also comes with two ramps for the bucket and the plank. Let's go attach it to the bucket and see how it fits. The question is, does it have a good balance point and will it catch mice? First, we're gonna test it out with our pet mice, see if they drop down, and then we're gonna set it up in the barn with motion cameras and try to catch the wild mice. Now I don't want my pet mice to get hurt, so I'll add some fabric for a soft landing. Okay mouse, show us if this trap works. So far so good, let's try another. It seems to have a good balance point, but the question is, will it catch the wild mice? Let's go set up the motion cameras and see what happens. Well, last night we set up the copycat flip mousetrap in the barn, and the first thing I noticed is this ear is completely chewed off. The mice gnaw on the soft plastic, they chewed on the side, so if we leave this several more nights, eventually it will be completely destroyed. But the other thing I noticed is the balance point is good, and we caught five mice down below. They went up there, tried to get the bait, and got dunked. Now what do we do with these mice? These are non-native invasive mice called house mice, so I can't let them go. Instead, I'm going to humanely dispatch them and feed them to wild animals. So let's go set up the motion cameras and see what wild animals come along and enjoy these mice snacks.
Well, it's a good thing we caught so many mice with this trap because a whole family of raccoons, a mother, and all our babies showed up for the free meal. They picked up the mice with those tiny little fingers and politely ate the snack. Overall, this trap worked well. It's one of the best Chinese copies out there, but it does have a few flaws. The soft plastic up here can get chewed on by the mice and pretty soon it will be completely destroyed. Now the Chinese copies are getting pretty interesting. There's quite a few variations, including ones like animal paws, ones like owls, and even shaped like a block of cheese. But be careful, I don't recommend you ever buy any of the Chinese copies. So if you wanna buy a trap that really works well, only buy it through the link down below, through my Amazon affiliate link, or the official website link. Thank you so much for watching. On this channel, I test out every mouse trap I can get my hands on. I've posted over 700 videos to YouTube, and currently I'm posting new videos every Monday and Friday. So if you wanna see the best videos on how to catch mice, rats, squirrels, chipmunks, moles, voles, and gophers, stay tuned.